today is not such a good day already. It's actually kind of a bad day already. I'm kind of fucking freaking out. Because I just got sent over the edge today with everything. And I... Starting to fall apart. Oh, fuck. I got bird shit right on the front of my window to top it off. I gotta pull over and clean this shit off because I can't see. It's right in the center of my fucking window. So, I'm gonna pause for a second while I clean the shit off my window. It just goes to fucking show. It's very symbolic for today. Just a sec. I'll be back. Okay, now that that's taken care of. mad that I'm in their way okay so I'm like so just not okay right now I just everything just sort of came to a head I got a call from my insurance agent or an insurance agent about my I had an, a little fender bender in the parking lot of a gas station right here in my neighborhood in November and I hadn't heard anything, so I just assumed that everything went the way it should because this woman cut across from the left lane as I was starting to pull out of the gas station, and she pulled across from the left lane right in front of me coming into the gas station and hit my left front side. And it was not a lot of damage. You know, it was a very minor hit, but it turns out the two women in the car are trying to, they've hired lawyers. They're trying to claim injuries. What the fuck, man? Are you serious? Come on. Am I not even supposed to swear on YouTube? I don't know. I'm going to try not to in case I'm not supposed to. I mean, what the frick, man? Seriously? Injuries? See, I should have seen this coming. I had a brand new car. They had a shit box. I should have fucking seen this coming. I was too nice. It's a scam. You know, the guy that, that came over to us afterwards apparently was working with her and is pretending to be a witness i mean this is ridiculous and it turns out my dash cam at that particular moment wasn't plugged in all the way it had gotten pulled out of the uh socket or whatever and and wasn't filming of course you know of course it wasn't the one time i needed to be functioning right which is why i have the dash cam and it's not even on you know fucking filming i mean filming when the act, you know, when this occurred. So now I gotta go to the to the location of where it was and take pictures of where my car was and all this shit. So then everything just starts kind of coming down. And man, I've just got a list of shit that you have. Uh, really? Okay. I just cannot deal with all this right now. I've got to bring my daughter to the eye doctor today because she might have to have eye surgery again. She had eye surgery when she was like. A year and a half old, she had exotropia where, you know, the eyes, you have to tighten the muscles because the eyes, uh, so then I got to take her to the dentist, to the orthodontist, which I probably already waited too long for them to do what they need to do. They were supposed to make a spacer for one of her teeth coming in. And I missed that appointment and I have forgotten to reschedule. And of course, I haven't gotten to my dentist, no surprise there. And I've just got a laundry list of things that I've got to do, and I'm completely overwhelmed, and I don't even know where to start or how to go about starting to accomplish this laundry list. I've got to get new doctors and every specialist, doctors that I was seeing before I got cut off my uh, disability in Medicare. Now that I'm back on, i got to start over again because I'm in a new area, and I just don't have the same doctors that I was seeing before. Um, and my birth, my daughter's birthday is coming up next month. I got a plan for that. I've got to do a boatload of uh, paperwork with Medicare because they promised to pay me. Um, I had been paying cash for one particular doctor the entire time I was um, cut off disability with the promise that when I got back on that they could go back retrospect and I would get reimbursed. And suddenly all that is, you know, has changed somehow. So I'm trying to get people, you know, to do their job and do what they're supposed to do so I can get that money back. Meanwhile, I have a pods unit sitting in my backyard that's been sitting there for since October with the plans to have been moved out by December or January at the latest. And here we are now, February, 
and it's still sitting in my backyard. I'm still paying two fifty a month for that, on top of my rent thirteen hundred, and then I'm late for my car payment. Um, I got a payment coming up on my phone. I've got cable and gas owed. I've got all sorts of other shit owed, and I can't seem to catch up. You know, um, I just trying to do this while being a mom, you know, and on top of that, I, I have to get my daughter transferred out of the school she's at, so I got to go and get some kind of permit to be released from the LAUSD school district system so I can apply for this other school where her daycare is. I got to find a place to live. That's not go going too well yet. I mean, shit, I don't have time to do any of this. I mean, I barely have time to... Oh, and then I got to work to try to make up the money that I owe. Oh, I am a mess. I am a mess. I got to find a new psychiatrist, a new therapist. I'm not on any psych meds right now. I should be on something to help with the bipolar symptoms. And I don't, I'm not seeing anybody for that. I'm going to see my, my regular doctor who was the guy that I was seeing five years ago when I got cut off that was supposed to help me not get cut off that promised me that as long as he was my doctor that Social Security couldn't cut me off. Surprise, surprise, another promise, another person I depended on to tell me how it is and depended on to help me keep things going the right way and I'm just tired of being disappointed. I'm tired of being screwed over by everybody, man. It's just, oh, when does this shit stop? When does this ever let up, man? Okay, look, I gotta control myself because I'm getting really emotional and I gotta drive.
is a different time. I walked away from a scholarship offer for college at Keene State, New Hampshire. But this is a different time. I'm a mom now and I gotta keep my shit together. And, uh... Man, I'm just so fucking overwhelmed. I owe, I owe, and then I gotta, I gotta, so, I gotta go to Social Security. They owe me back pay for four years, and they're trying to keep that. I've got to get all my bank records and all my bills together, and I gotta go to them and plead for, to them, please give me some of my money so I can move out of this fucking hell, so I can get one thing fixed, just one, so I can start, you know, working on the list. But my home situation is not secure right now. I mean, it's secure. I'm paying rent, and I'm not, you know, I don't have to leave, but I can't stay. It's tearing me apart. It's tearing me apart. It's tearing my daughter apart being in this place, watching this, you know, seeing how miserable I am. I don't want this, and I don't want this for her. Oh my God, what am I going to do? I got so much shit I have to do. I gotta go to the bank and get some records. I gotta get my taxes filed. I gotta get all these specialists in, in line and I gotta, I don't even know where to begin. I don't even know where to start. I don't even know where to go for help. And I'm stuck like, I'm just stuck. Stuck in a muck. Fuck, I'm stuck in a muck. Ha 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 ha. Ah And then Freebird comes on. Ha. Huh. What are the chances of that? Come on. What are you trying to say? What's the point? I don't know what to do, man. I'm like, just... What next? trying to just take little baby steps to get little thing and I gotta go get my brakes done. I try to save money by taking it to a, a you know, a, a little mom and pop shop at a gas station instead of taking it to, to Toyota. And now I get why. My brakes are brand new and they've been squeaking ever since I got them. They sound worse than they did before I took them in. So now I gotta go buy good quality brakes at AutoZone and take it back and have them put brakes, the good brakes in. Can't be driving customers around with shitty brakes, old or cheap ass brakes. Man, I just, I mean, can things ever just slow the fuck down for like two seconds for me to breathe? And here I am, a fucking emotional mess, just ready to fucking fall apart. Fuck, you know, I mean. I'm just like frantically searching my mind for solutions and, and resolutions and how to fix this shit. There's just too much shit for me to focus on all at once and I just, every time I try to focus on something I get frustrated and then end up walking away and I, oh, keep it together. I'm trying to keep it together, driving slower than everybody else to make sure I don't make any mistakes. I, uh, I don't know how, I wish I knew how other people like me got through this shit, because I feel like I'm the only one, I feel like I'm fucking crazy. I'm crazy to think that I can... do anything, never mind raise a fucking child in this, but yet she's everything to me, she's my only purpose for being here, she's what keeps me together at all, 